There is a well-known story of three men who are employed cutting blocks of stone. When asked what they are doing, one says, cutting stone. The second says, earning a living. And the third says, building a palace. You see, those who have the larger picture take more pride in their labor and work harder and better. Great leaders communicate a vision. Great leaders, be they CEOs or simply parents, have the ability to connect a large vision with highly specific details because without the vision, the details are merely tiresome. Lucy Quist portrays this idea brilliantly in her masterpiece, The Bold New Normal. She writes, imagine running a 100 meter race. Do you focus on getting away from the starting line or on being the first to reach the finish line? These two visions of success in the race are not the same. If the goal is to get away from the start line, then one step is all it takes to succeed. However, to get to the finish line, one has to persist and endure the strain to finish the race. Think deeply about the statement because it is profound. She states this after she has made a profound statement about eradicating poverty in Africa, which she writes, eradicating poverty seems to be a repetitive goal, a repetitive goal that never seems to be attained. This is simply too small a vision for Africa. No other continent in the world developed by setting an ambition purely to eradicate poverty. We need a new vision that says we no longer eliminate the problem, but we create lasting solutions. We must no longer survive life in Africa. We must thrive in Africa. You see, the genius of the Torah was to apply this principle that Mrs. Quist writes about to society as a whole. The Israelites had come through a transformative series of events, just like Africa. Moshe knew there had been nothing like it before, just like Africa. He also knew from God that none of it was accidental or incidental, just as Africa. The Israelites had experienced slavery to make them cherish freedom, just like Africa. They had suffered so that they would know what it feels like to be on the wrong side of oppressive power, just like Africa. At Sinai, God through Moshe had given them a mission statement what was it? Rebrand to become a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. That is branded, rebranded. People who are slaves are going to be rebranded to become a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Lucy Quist states this in one short statement at the beginning of chapter one of her masterpiece titled Africa. She writes, Africa one of the most mismanaged brands in history. Wow. Don't fan the flames of negativity, Lucy Quist says. Look at this picture on your screen. You may say the glass is half empty, but Lucy challenges you to think differently. The glass is rather half full, not half empty. We need to start with the positive attitude towards what works. My dear brother in a conversation said to me, Rabbi, do you know the difference between Kweku Anansi and Spider-Man? He said, Brandon, think about that. Everyone should get a copy of this book, The Bold New Normal, Creating an Africa Where Everyone Prospers by Lucy Quist. I will get a hard copy myself. I have the ebook and let her sign it for me next time I'm in Ghana. I will go looking for her. Pa. So if you are looking to relocate to Ghana, to Africa, anywhere in Africa, this is a book that you must have. You must read. And I understand the problem of Africa from those who live there, not those who have never stepped foot there and yet they are writing about it. Get your copies. This is a masterpiece. Thank you, Mrs. Quist, for producing such a work.